You are watching Jimadesan Total Nerdy Channel and today we're going to wipe a computer using a red key USB. Jimadesan Total Nerdy Channel. The red key USB is a physical product. It's actually a physical key. Uh, it's a USB stick which you put into your computer and by using the software onto the stick you can wipe the drives by booting from the stick. And why this is good or handy is that you can wipe the OS, the currently OS you are using. So for example, if you have an old computer, you will give away or sell or something like that, and you only have one hard drive and you want to delete that hard drive, you can use this one to delete it. And of course, you can't boot it up into Windows without installing Windows on it again. But everything will be gone. The data will be gone. To use a red key, you of course have to buy one. And there are different licenses you can get and you can check them up. But they all offer lifetime support. So with, if you buy one of these, you can wipe as many computers, um, you know, forever. So I would recommend people to get a red key if they will wipe many computers and will continue to wipe computers. The pros with using a red key USB is that it uses another method than disk part, which is more secure when deleting files. So basically, uh, you know SATA, like uh, Serial ATA, um, which is standard for um, hard drives and storage devices. Um, this stick uses ATA commands, which is basically the programming language of the hard drives. So it communicates directly with the hard drives itself. Uh, and this bypasses BIOS and Windows OS, or another operating system. Why this is good is because there are something that's called HPA, Host Protected Area, and DCO, Device Configuration Overlay. And the HPA um, stuff that can be stored here is basically system restore image and some other files, but uh, some rare viruses or rootkits can install themselves there. NSA actually also used this area to install uh, software to monitor uh, target computers. Um, so if you would have some virus on that part of the drive and you would wipe the drive using disk part and then give it to someone else, they might get this virus. Uh, and disk part doesn't delete the HPA area. The DCO area, device configuration overlay, is basically an area that makes the drive look smaller than it actually is. And this is so that manufacturers can uh, buy like three terabyte uh, hard drives and then sell some of them as two terabyte hard drives. It's basically that. But some people uh, hack into this little partition that's actually hidden and they use it to store illegal files. So probably um, nothing will be there, but if something would be there, um, the red key deletes it. So, for example, if you buy a hard drive from a really shady people, you might want to you might want to wipe it again before using it. Another thing that I mentioned a little bit before is that it's good for deleting SSDs. Using disk part and other delete methods on an SSD might not delete the information very securely, or it might cause very much tear on the SSD. So if you are often wiping SSDs using disk part, you shorten their lifespans. It causes huge tear. And using a red key uh, gets into the ATA commands and it resets all the sections instead. And that doesn't cause very much wear. So if you often want to wipe a specific SSD, it can be a good idea to have uh, one of these lying around. And of course, if you're a professional and you're wiping hard drives and selling them or wiping computers and selling them or are responsible for some IT security, it's smart with a red key because you don't want to be responsible for accidentally leaving some viruses in the HPA area or something like that. The red key is basically an empty USB stick with a serial number. We'll need to put on a software hair to actually make it a red key. This is an updater tool which puts software on the drive and activates it. You'll need to download this. When you have downloaded a file, 
you need to run it. Select your language of choice and click OK. Now you may plug in your red key and click Refresh. Select the drive. Now we can activate the key. Scratch the back of the packaging to see your activation code and write it in here. Then you can click Activate. Now you may update the software. Accept the terms and click OK. Now you can proceed. It warned you that any data on the USB stick, if present, would get deleted. Note that you also need an internet connection in order to download the software onto the key. It automatically finds the closest server and downloads the data onto the USB stick. This takes some time, so just patiently let it run until finish. It probably will take several minutes for any PC. The red key USB sometimes may need an update, but included in the package is lifetime updates, so you don't have to worry that it will um, be too old or something like that. The quick tips displayed here during the update process is really useful information. I recommend you read them. And there we are. Software is installed and now we're formatting the drive. And now you can see that the red key isn't empty anymore, it's now filled with software. It can now be a smart idea to take a little screen capture for future proof if needed and then OK. Now we have successfully prepared our red key USB, so we can close down this software and also uninstall it if we don't want to use it um, in a good while. We don't need to have this software installed on the units we will use. It's only used for maintenance of the red key itself. And when you need to maintenance it in the future, you can just download the software again. But of course, it doesn't hurt to keep it installed if you wish that too. Anyways, without further ado, let's take this red key and wipe an old computer and just get rid of everything on it. So let's go. Here we have my old laptop. It will have a new owner, so we will wipe it completely. So uh, I'm going to insert the red key here, like that. Now when we start the computer, we need to press a hotkey to get into the boot menu. This hotkey is dependent on what the manufacturer is. For Acer, it's usually F12 or sometimes Escape. For Asus, it's uh, Escape or F8. For Dell, it's F12. For HP, it's Escape and then F9, usually. For Apple, it's the Option key. Lenovo is usually F12, Samsung is F12 or Escape, Toshiba is F12. And you can just Google up your manufacturer and see what the boot key is for your particular model. In other cases you can get into BIOS and then select the boot menu from there. So anyways, I'm gonna start this thing. And then we'll click the boot key, I'll just spam it like this. If we spam it like that, we are making sure we actually get into the boot menu in time. If it's, uh, for example, an SSD and boots pretty quickly. All right, so now we go down and select the red key and click enter. Now we can just let it run through some code. So just select a graphical user interface and it will select it automatically if you don't do anything. There we can change the resolution, but if we don't do anything, we get to the default resolution. All right, let's select uh, English here. All right, so I have the Pro Edition and it's now going to check the computer. If you don't do anything, stuff is basically pretty automatic. Um, apparently my disk had to be suspended and now it was. And now we just need to wait a little bit and it restarts automatically. So here we go. Can you see the screen? Screen is indeed okay. All right, disks ready. 
So here we can go to this little menu, it's pretty stressful like this, but we have uh, the default disk selected already. But we can go to uh, advanced settings and select uh, disk selection and, uh, well, basically um, change anything here if we need to. But uh, we don't need to do that because we only have one disk here and it's uh, automatically selected it. Alright, so we just don't need to change anything here and we can just click start. And now we have uh, just started to uh, delete this disk. And yeah, so uh, erasing. It's gonna take 130 minutes, so that's a lot of minutes. But um, just as easy like that. Alright. Now we've got some groovy screensavers and some groovy music going on there, so... Well, you can turn that off in the settings when you set up the key if you want to, but it's pretty handy. And as you can see, it's immensely easy to just uh, delete the disk because you basically just uh, insert the key and if you don't do anything, it basically just deletes it automatically, basically. Of course, you have to be with it when uh, you set it up and make sure that everything is correct. But it's basically just insert it, make sure you boot from the red key USB and then you'll get into delete mood um, automatically if you don't do anything else. For most people, you just insert it like this and uh, you automatically get to the delete sequence. Um, it's a little bit stressful when you go with these timers going on here, so that's a little bit scary, but it's scary because it is scary. Um, it deletes your data forever and uh, make sure you have backed up your data because on this point uh, if you have any regrets you basically can't stop it. it it has started to delete the data and it will be gone forever so um, make sure you, that you back up your stuff be before you get to this point if you want to check the status of your uh, deleting you just uh, go down into the down left corner and click the arrow back and you can get to this menu here. Then we get to this screen and we have done this for uh, 37 minutes and it's 130 minutes total. So that would be uh, around uh, 90 minutes left. And there we have it. Now we come to this little screen which says data wiped with a nice little animation and everything. So there we have it, it's completely done. Took two hours and seven minutes, so that's nice. And it's absolutely wiped. So uh, now we can just uh, view the report if we want to. And here we have some uh, system information. We can go back and then we can just click exit. How about restart? And here we are, just a blinking screen. We won't get any further than this because, uh, well, the default boot device was the HDD and that's completely wiped now. And we spam F12 to get to the boot menu again. And here we can select different boot devices again. So, for example, now we can install another operating system and then we would go in here and boot from the operating system's uh, USB or CD drive to install it. And that's basically how to do it, but this computer is completely wiped. So, uh, this data is completely gone. Very nice. And there we have it. This red key just completely wiped that computer and that information will be lost forever. No, I actually backed it up, but whatever. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little video, and if you did, you should definitely like this video and subscribe. And if uh, you are thinking that the red key might be something that's useful for you because you're wiping a lot of drives or want to be super secure, you can check in the description for a link to their homepage. In any case, this is your host, Jim Odesim, and I'm signing out.